Well, there was a major impact from Sunday's storm on businesses in that area, right along Route 224 and Southern Boulevard. They had to close early, then had to wait for the power to be turned back on today. And the storm was certainly something they'll never forget. The storm lasted just two or three minutes, but it was one that Jasmine Vaught will never forget. I was terrified. <laughs> I didn't know whether it was a tornado or not. I didn't know if I should go in the back and like be away from the windows or but it felt like a tornado. It really did. She was working at the Boost Mobile store across from the mall. In the same plaza, Hanasa J went and hid for safety. We thought the whole building was gonna come out and uh just fly away. The wind was whipping, rain was falling hard, and debris was blowing in every direction. White. It was totally, like, absolutely white. You couldn't see anything but the rain. Hail, and you couldn't see in front of you, and uh, the big noises just hitting uh, the windows up front. The power got knocked out and didn't come back on until today. Ambiance joined the rest of the stores, having water coming down from the roof and flowing in under the front door. There was water all over the front floor by the door when you first walk in. Um, there's a little bit of damage at the top of the wall of the glass windows. The building housing all these businesses is run by Ash Kocher. He was having dinner in Hermitage when he got the call and told that gutters from the building were in trees and there was other damage to the roof. All the stuff from the right across from the mall, Firestone building, all the insulation was in my parking lot, so it was so bad. All the, all the signs were broken. Numerous broken signs. Firestone has a leaky roof, but was open for business today. Home Depot had trailers turned over and damaged, totaling $25,000. It just came like a certain area, you know, like a, a one line, you know. And Firestone and our line, the same line. And as you heard earlier, it was a wet microburst that caused all the damage. The total line, less than about a half mile of damage, but the storm packed quite a punch for those who saw it and felt it.